Alright, so I am going to demonstrate how the Cathane mod works because it's awesome and you need to know how to use it. Uh, to start with a Cathane scanner rocket somewhere. 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 What the hell did I do with it? Oh, I went right by it. So, basic, basic rocket, nothing too fancy, pretty good range because there's, uh, I remember making this, this is kind of a stupid rocket, but lots of silly stages. <laughs> yeah, lots of silly stages. <laughs> um, I think this one was more or less designed to get to Elio. So I have all of this extra stuff. I did a lot of propulsion with uh, with the mono propellant, and oh, look at the new texture. That's pretty nice. Uh, and the ion engines, <laughs> which take a while, but they work. They get you there. These here are the scanners. You find them in. Somewhere here. Science. Gotta love science. There's a big one and a small one. Uh, we're gonna put this so you just can see it. Yeah, see? It's a little smaller. The difference is you have to be under a certain altitude in order to use these. Um, you can attach them to a plane. You know, if you can get a plane to another uh, planet with an atmosphere, but not necessary, you can just do it in, or in orbit. Um, see, the, the big one, you just have to be under a million meters, and the smaller one, you have to be under uh, 300,000. The difference is power consumption. That's all. And the smaller one is a little slower. It doesn't, it does, like, does a pulse. It's almost like a uh, you know, like sonar or whatever. So it sends out a signal and then it comes back. So yeah, this is this is my satellite, Cathane Scanner satellite. I already had this in orbit around Elio, Elio, from some time ago. <laughs> um, you know how to get into orbit, then to use these things, you right click, activate. I have two of them, just because it looks cool. Um, if you activate them at the right time, you can get them to stagger, and then you also show map. Oh, well, that's not nice. It takes a while to uh, scan an entire planet in detail because you can only scan the point in which is directly below you. Um, a polar orbit is very important for a scanner if you're going to get everything. Now I'm going to show you... Normally there's a detection sound. I don't I don't hear that. Sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't. Anyways, the lower your orbit... <laughs> the lower your orbit, the better... Um, the faster it'll be. But you see, when I do this super fast... It doesn't actually scan everything. So you actually kind of need to slow it down. See, now I'm, now I'm starting to get paths. And eventually, as you go from pole to pole, the planet rotates, you'll eventually see everything. And the green dots are where they're... Uh, is where Cathane is. Cathane is good. 
That's all there is to that. That's how you find the Cathane. So this is a plane uh, I landed on Kerbin a while ago. Um, it's pretty far away from... Yeah, there he is. And I think the launch pad is... Over there, yeah, it's, it's a long flight, but not hard to hard to do. Um, okay, so this plane has a built-in mining rig for the Cathane. There's this part here. Uh, I forget what I forget where it is in the uh, in the parts list, but you can handle finding that. Um, you need a bunch of power. But again, you just, uh, wait, do I have a, I think I have a scanner. Yes, I do. I put a scanner on the plane so that I could hear the beeps when I was over a deposit. Makes it easier. You don't have to look at that little map, which is blank now, but it wasn't before. Don't worry about it. Um, but I could hear the beeps. I knew when to land. The, the deposits are pretty large, so you have plenty of time. Uh, I don't yet know if the huge deposit is taken up or just a small area of it when you drill. I, I have no idea yet, but it doesn't really matter. You deploy the drill, goes into the ground. And now I'm getting cathane. And you can see up here in my resources that my cathane's going up slowly. And my cathane goes into this cathane gas tank, which is with all the other gas tanks. Another part that is useful, and I think there's two different sizes, is this here. It's the converter unit. It converts the cathane into the other usable um, fuel types. And all you do is you right click on it and select which one you want. Uh, I think all my tanks are full so I can't show you that. But it's really that easy. You just tell it to do it and, that, and it does it. Converts over. It'll put it into your tanks. Um, if it's I can't remember if it'll automatically go to all the tanks, but if not, it'll do the adjacent ones, and then you can you can hold Alt on two tanks, and then you can transfer between the tanks. It's a nice trick. I didn't know about it for very long. Um, what else? There's two sizes of the converters. One of them's more efficient than the other. Um, but one of them's faster, and one of them takes a whole lot more energy, which is, you know, I don't mind putting a lot of uh, solar panels on my stuff, so I can handle it. I'm pretty sure that's a small one. It's less efficient and takes less power. Uh, oh, also in the mod is something I never use, but there's um, a cathane engine. It kind of works like these air intake ones, except um, you have to intake. I don't. I mean, you can use it on on other planets that don't have don't have oxygen. So it just basically extends the uh, the air intake style engine to. Uh, to other planets.